What is up, brothers and sisters? It's Jay Campbell, and you're listening to the Jay Campbell Podcast. Join me for regular deep dives with amazing beings whose work is manifesting a golden age. And remember, you create your reality by your focused thoughts, conscious words, and intentional actions. Raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. Hey guys, what's up? It's Jay Campbell and I'm making a quick commercial here for seercustom.com, my revolutionary cosmeceutical peptides company, co-founded with my business partner, Nick Andrews, who happens to be one of the world's top formulators. We have the revolutionary Alexano Grow, which completely regrew my hair. If you guys saw my hair about a year ago, I was almost bald. I even had the micropigmentation program from uh, Advantis. And now I've completely regrown my hair. That's just with version one. Version two is now in the marketplace or will be very, very soon. And it is three to five times as more effective than the current version or the original beta version of Oxano. We also have Royal Blue Serum and Sky Blue Cream, which will completely upgrade your face. I mean, I'm almost 50 years old. I have a pretty good complexion. I use it regularly. My wife swears by it. It will reduce fine lines and wrinkles, dramatically improve elasticity, and just the overall look and feel of your face. You feel great on both of them. You can also use them with red light therapy. There's all sorts of great stuff. So go to a seercustom.com. And if you're a first time customer, use the coupon J15 to take 15% off your purchase. I appreciate all you guys. And I send you tremendous love and light. Hey guys and gals, it's Jay Campbell, the founder of course, of the Jay Campbell podcast. And I'm very, very excited and very calm here today in my StreamYard virtual studio. In fact, I'm doing my first ever one-on-one podcast with StreamYard instead or in lieu of Zoom with an amazing man, Bjorn Lundberg, also known as Spirit. Bjorn, how are you, brother? I'm great. Thank you, Jay. It's an honor to have you here on my podcast. Uh, For you folks who have not seen this, and of course, the link will be in the podcast, this podcast, when it shows up sometime in the next couple months. Uh, Bjorn and I just did a profound podcast for his channel on all sorts of things. And today's discussion is going to carry on from there and probably, well, not probably, definitely enhance that level of awareness and knowing that we both shared together about a week ago. Uh, So let me give you guys a little bit about his background. I mean, basically, he's a brother on the path. That's his bio. A very, very long spiritual journey, but um, he is a master, uh, assuredly. And I, you know, experienced his energy and his awareness and his beingness, uh, like I said, about a week ago. And truthfully, he just reached out to me, I think about three weeks ago and asked if I would be willing to come on his podcast. Um, And, and, you know, in the way that he communicated with me, because I get a lot of people messaging me, I just knew that he was a brother that I needed to connect with. I felt his energy. I felt his light. Uh, light in action, as the great Maori shaman Huma, Huna Flash would say. Um, and so we uh, you know, connected and we did a podcast last week. And again, the link to that podcast will be in the show, but it was absolutely profound. Um, as I always do, Bjorn, uh, on the Jay Campbell podcast, before we get into these profound points, discussion topics that you've sent me, how did you connect with Jay Campbell and get on the Jay Campbell podcast? Well, it was actually through your other brother, um, uh, Michael. Awesome. So Michael Jacob. So uh, I've been following him for uh, a while, what he's up to, and uh, seen his, um, yeah, yeah, the censorship, <laughs> how sure, they're taking sure. him down. And, and right. see how you cooperate. And um, uh, we have so much in common. And well, maybe we could talk a bit about that uh, in this podcast. Sure. Because um, I used to live in California, and um, I'm also totally into understanding how we optimize our body, our spirit, uh, the driver inside the body, and the body. You know how to have it to be in its optimal level. So, um, long story short, I. I uh, uh, lived in Los Angeles and worked out at Gold's Gym, the mecca of bodybuilding with the wow. biggest boys and girls in the world. And yeah, so I have a big chapter of that. Um, so when you, when I found you and uh, I found what you have done before, I just felt 
we need to connect. That's so beautiful. So, so I, I had no idea that you were actually in the Mecca. Well, you know, speaking of the Mecca is no more. I mean, I don't know if anyone's told you that, but it, no. it is. Yeah, it's completely fallen into disrepair, ruin. I mean, Venice Beach is a disaster. It is yeah. a waylaid, like homeless vagabond area now. You know, Muscle Beach is gone. I mean, wow. man, it's 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 unbelievable what's happened there. It's actually truly sad. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, but mm. I don't want to. I don't want to dwell mm. on that, obviously, in this podcast. Um, mm. But that's phenomenal, man. I mean, obviously, I've trained at the Mecca many, many times. It's a spectacular, beautiful place, incredible place. Um, I'm sorry, my dogs are going bananas in the background. I hear I they no want to be part of it. <laughs> I have no idea why that is. They were a little, as you know, they were a little bit spooked because my wife and uh, daughter and uh, her best friend left today to go on cheerleading, but. Uh, my other daughter is calming them down now. I think she she she's the least capable of calming them down. So that may be that may be the issue right now. But uh, let's just jump into some of your discussion points. So, yeah, um, being the light from the north. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah. So, um, okay, two big subjects in one. <laughs> yeah. So being and the light from north. Uh, so the agenda has taken us away from beingness, no matter where we live on the planet, and into doingness. So we have moved down from human beings to human doings. <laughs> and that is what is now the big awakening, that we reconnect with our being again, right? So in... Swedish language, when we take a breath, that is when we, uh, it's called andetag. And ande means spirit. And breath means tag. So when you take an andetag, you connect with spirit. Because it's the first thing that happens when we come in the body, and it's the last thing that happens when we leave the body, the breath. So um, being is now super important, and that is to be presence, present and, and grounded. Because it's many of us who are very, very intelligent, but to be intelligent can be that you're trapped in your mind. So now we need to come down to our heart and root ourselves to be grounded. Then we are a full expression of being, right? And that might sound very easy, but it's tricky these days, as you know. Oh, yeah. um, so to practice conscious breathing, to breathe all the way down to our uh, lower abs, it takes long practice to make right. that an unconscious breathing that you don't have to think about. It happens because you have done it for so long uh, time. So now the body wants to breathe like that. Otherwise, we just breathe halfway, and now we're not in our being. Now we're in our thinking and doing, right? So that's the being part. The light from north... It's actually a very interesting uh, prophecy that Nostradamus um, gave a long, long time ago. Right. He said, the light will come from north, right? And so you can look at that two ways. You can look at that north of equator. That means... United States and all these European countries that are above that, we have now, as we see, obviously we have already seen it, it's a great awakening. Light beings are being charged and from all walks of life, from A to Z, and are coming into their blueprint, their mission, why we came to this planet, because now we're needed. Right. The right. big drum is drumming. It's now. It's now. So all those who have already aw awoken, it's very clear, you know, like yourself. 
all those who feel that we now need to step up and move away from the old world, the old system, and step into why we came here. And that is to create the paradise on this planet. But if we take it as a metaphor, um, we can't really um, establish this new world until we have taken care of the leadership of the old. <laughs> we need to switch leadership because the old leadership doesn't allow us to um, create this new world with you know, technologies of free energy and so, 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 so much that's been held back for 100 plus years. Yeah. So that is the light from north part. However, there is a little bit more of that, and that is that we from the northern country, from Scandinavia, we have a very special energy. And I think all countries and all regions of the planet has a very special energy. Sure. We have ours. Right. So um, we hold a very uh, genuine, loving spirit up there. And uh, the whole system, you know, if you if you look at the whole agenda, it's like United States to turn people against each other, being red or blue. Right. Right. Uh, being uh, on a bigger scale on the planet, you have Russia and all that that part of the world uh, going into communism, and right. then you have United uh, the, the other part with the, the Western world society, and Sweden and Scandinavia is kind of in the middle, in between. So we have we have become um, their little pet, you know their. Yeah trial era because we're so small we're only 10 million in, in sweden and norway is even less finland and denmark so it's very easy to test use us as a, a test area which they are doing now and then that is going to spread all over the world so that's part of the agenda so yeah so people are waking up and and uh, in sweden now it's amazing. It's an amazing awakening. And there's so many incredible, uh, courageous uh, men and women who are standing up against this tyranny and just start to do their light work. It's beautiful. That's awesome. It's amazing, you know, to think, you know, as you and I got into a profound conversation, of course, on our show previous to this, which again, I'll link to uh, when this podcast runs. Um, the tyranny is just, it's overwhelming actually in the one place that the world has been brainwashed for so long to be the freest, you know, place, which is obviously the USA, right? The whole land of the free home of the brave, which really is in fact as true as the brainwashing, uh, you know, has gone on from the history of the world. But obviously you're right. I mean, this is the melting pot. This is where all previous, the lights of the world would have gone had had gone to as you know as you did when you were here and 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 all people from all walks of life all cre races creeds ethnicities uh, species obviously uh, star being species have all you know amalgamated and really traveled uh, you know almost the whole manifest destiny uh, aspect of existence at some point to the West right the West which again was brainwash people were brainwashed to think it was the freest place on earth and it's really not true. When a person travels the earth, as I have, I've been on pretty much all the, all the continents. Um, you know, you, you, you realize that what you were taught growing up in the United States is mostly myths and disinformation to keep you thinking that the other parts of the world are not the way that the world really is. Uh, so it's, it's, it's very, very interesting when you travel and you kind of can put an end to that myth or that mythos that you've been brainwashed. And, and obviously the highest that you've gone from an academic standpoint, the heavier the brainwashing. And as you know, which we talked about on your show or our show together, um, the colleges now Bjorn are just complete indoctrination camps. There is Ooh. almost no value for anyone to, you know, to seek out a higher education because they're literally being brainwashed and they're not really being taught true history. You know, it's all social ideals or socialism or, you know, whatever else it is. And I don't want to like rabbit hole in that conversation, but it's very, very interesting to see the truth now start to be revealed. As you said, it's like we are in the Great Awakening. I like that the drum beat. I think of the Lord of the Rings movie and uh, 
mm-hmm. with uh, the t- the two towers in part two, you know, yeah. when they're they're beaming Gandalf and the uh, the Rohirrim, you know, to to save them at the Battle of uh, I forget what the battle the Battle of Helm's Deep, you know, they're they're singing the drum and blowing the horn, and and that's where we're at right now. We're in yeah. that exact moment mm-hmm. where we're the carrion call, the signal, the flame. I think it's mm-hmm. the name of Andor in that show, in that movie, in the mythos. But um, the reality is, is that's where we're at. We're, we're in that moment in time right now where we're waiting for all of the forces of light to galvanize and to connect and to end, as you said, the tyranny of the mm. great oppressors, wh- whomever the oppressors may be. Mm. Yes. Man, I am so sorry. Uh, I actually now know what is going on. We have people coming here today to install solar in the back of my house. And I literally completely forgot, even though I knew they were coming. So I apologize. So that's why my dogs are going crazy. But they know not to interrupt me. So we're okay. But I had to put that out there. So for all you guys watching, you guys know why my dogs are going crazy. Um, so living the hero's journey. Let's talk about that. All right. Hmm. Do you want me to just jump into it? Absolutely. All right. Yep. <laughs> Well, um, when well, actually, I can just mention the hero's journey is uh, based on uh, Joseph Campbell's sure. understanding of all masters who walked walked the uh, earth, um, and his study came down to a red thread that was very interesting, and that is that we all go through this hero's journey who has three major chapters. One is that where we are uh, disconnected, the disconnection part, that we we disconnect ourselves or we get thrown out from the tribe, but we disconnect from the world we came into, the system we came into, because we have a calling inside. We want to find the truth and we want to find who we are and why we came to the planet, right? right? To do that inner pilgrimage uh, path. So we, uh, many of us, we sell everything we have, we quit our job and uh, we start uh, traveling the world and meeting wonderful masters or we go to ashrams or there's many paths, but they all go inward. Right. And um, sooner or later along that path, we come to the second chapter and that is, that is the initiation. Mm-hmm. And that is when we connect with source energy that's been cut off from us in the normal society. So now we have an incredible heart opening because what we thought was love is just a small love compared right. to <laughs> when right. we connect to the universe's love and we just get what... Uh, to, for me, um, again, this is now I'm just going to share a very incredible jur- part of my journey in a very short world while. Uh, so I had this in Sweden. I actually had two suicide uh, attempts uh, where I drove my car in 200 Ks uh, in, per hour, wow. uh, midwinter, icy roads, and I just screamed out to God that if you exist, wow. now tell me why am I here? Show me uh, my mission or take my life because I'm done. Um, and then uh, I crashed and my car was totally demolished. Um, nothing happened. I was spared, not to scratch. Wow. And um, the second time I did this, um there was a bunch of cars that came around i did this in the middle of the night so i didn't want to be any cause for any other people it was just for me right for sure sure um so um i was thoughtful even though (laughs) i was so incredibly sad sure Uh, but i didn't really want to die i wanted to get connected with god but in sweden we didn't have this is long time ago this was in the beginning of the 90s right 
So, uh, and I had a fantastic job uh, working on a TV station. It was just actually the first TV station that was allowed to use uh, commercials. So wow. this was like a, a very blooming time in Sweden where we got started with that, which you had in the United States for uh, many, many years before sure. that. Yeah. So I was standing there, uh, there was this big sign on the side of the highway uh, that um, was on a big concrete block and big uh, iron, uh, uh, like, a, yeah, that, that that held this big road sure. sign up. So that my car, sense. after yeah, after spinning many many times, just threw up uh, on that block and on that big sign, just tipping the whole sign. So my car was standing there on top of that like a car show. <laughs> wow. And so I came out of the car, I climbed down on the, on the ground, and I looked at the car, just totally demol demolished in all sides, and just cut, you know, the wheels and everything. And um, uh, the stereo was still going, and I was standing there just observing everything. Again, not the scratch, 200 Ks per hour. Wow. And um, uh, a lot of people came around and um, uh, just made sure that I was okay, and then the police came. And here is a really interesting uh, part of my story here because there was a, uh, this policeman, he asked, where's the driver? Has anyone seen the driver? And I said, it's me. Then he locked eyes with me and he said, if I were you, I will go and buy a ticket. Actually, by two. Wow. I like to have one too. <laughs> and then. Um, he bought a lottery ticket, right? Yeah. 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 Right. Uh, then um, that uh, stayed with me. Yeah. And um, a few months later, I um, sold everything I had and uh, quit my job. And I moved to LA. So this was 1995, and wow. then I decided there and then during during that time that I'm not going to jeopardize my life anymore. Instead, I'm going to give my life to the universe to find out why I am so sad, why so many in the society are so sad, and so many are taking their lives or taking pills just to exist. Right. I want to find out why is the world it is? Why is it so dark? Why are everybody just walking around like zombies, not really living? And this was, again, um, in the beginning of the 90s. So 1995, I moved to Los Angeles. And then I decided to um, find the most amazing, groundbreaking inventors that has inventions that can take over the energy, oil, and all of that, and also uh, health-wise, how we can take ourselves to that which I resonate with inside of me. I was so focused and so, you know, when you, I died. Yeah. I, I literally, right. you can just play with the thought that I died in that car yeah, accident, Yeah. right? So the old me is not no more. Right. Now it's the new me who is on a mission. I want to be a part of making this world a better place. Right. To make right. the paradise on the planet, right? And find out why it is like it is. So that's when my uh, uh, deep work started. And I found... Okay. But I, did, I will tell you, I totally empathize with you because obviously I attempted to kill myself too. I did not destroy my car in that capacity, but I mean, it, it's the speed that I was going... It was definitely a tap from the heavenly guides or my guardian angel or many of them to pull over and stop. So, I mean, I, I know what you felt like. And by the yeah. way, I, I just did an interview with a guy by the name of Wonder Bob who meditated for 10 years in a yurt in the uh, Colorado wilderness. And he says that when that happens, you have a, a part of another part of a holographic soul uh, walks in. And connects with your true essence and source and so that was now your motivation is being driven by that being to say oh wow 
you know, yeah. second chance, but now I'm here to actually be a planetary mover or planetary creator. Exactly. You are. Yeah. yeah. So I uh, started a consulting company and um, um, my name means bear. Bjorn is the animal bear. So my company was Big Bear uh, Consulting. No, Big Bear Enterprises was the was a California company, and then I uh, found amazing inventors that had the most. I mean, I saw you know the the peak of uh, how far we have come in technology and what's out in the society is. I mean, what's out in society is way, this was in the 90s. Right. But what was out in the society is like 50 years behind on right. what exists. Yeah, of course. And I got to see those inventions. I, I Over a few years there, I found a few inventors in the uh, United States. Um, and I uh, connected them with billionaires and then to uh, get that in... Um, order to get it out to the world wow well after a few years of that uh, i can just say one of the things was uh, free energy another one was uh, a telecommunication um, system that had three big satellites in the outer realm of the planet if wow. it's flat or round it uh, doesn't matter because no. that was uh, on the lower frequencies like whales and, and elephant uh, communicate. So it would be um, unharmful for the right. humanity, right? And we will only need three satellites taking care of the whole system instead of now having thousands, Yeah, right? right? Um, so, yeah, so I got, uh, and we had a, a battery uh, that um, we could, if you, put it in a car, we could have a station wagon car, drive like a Porsche, and we could go from San Diego to Las Vegas and back in just one charge. Wow. It will it would be much, much better than the Tesla car that we see on the roads today. And this right. was back in the early 90s, right? So, uh, and I can go on and on and on with sure. uh, all the amazing inventions that uh, I was introduced to. But um, long story short there, um so this after a long journey of finding investors and you know getting cold feet and jumping off you know because it's it's such a groundbreaking thing you know to go into this new paradigm right. when the old paradigm is still existing yeah. and holding that new paradigm off totally the owners or not owners but the rulers of this planet don't want these uh, new paradigm um, uh, technologies to come out. So after a few years of understanding this, I couldn't, I didn't understand it because I was so blue, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, of course. Right so out of the tail. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it was so amazing. So I thought this is going to be the easiest thing to sell ever. Yeah. Yep. No, no, it's yeah. too good. It's too yeah. good. Yeah. So all the invent, everything that I had, it was too good. Yeah. No, it, it, it wasn't, wasn't also the right time. It wasn't the right time. Exactly. Like Timing yeah. is everything. Timing so, is everything. So um, then I had another life at the same time, and that was to take myself and my body to its ultimate levels. That's awesome. So I was into um, uh, anti-aging, and uh, I <laughs> the amount I – put into this system yeah. a month per month was many thousands of dollars. Right. Yeah, no, I mean, I can only imagine like how muscular, well, how tall, how big did you get? How muscular and tall, how, how tall are you? Uh, I'm six, two. Oh, so we're the same height. So you probably got up to like 235, 240 pounds. Or yeah. Bigger. Yeah. Yeah. It was 110 kilos. Um, yeah. And, uh, pretty ripped because oh, I, I did uh, yeah I was mm -hmm. uh, doing uh, fitness shootings as well and you have to be within one week of shooting so yeah, I was you know I so know the routine. yeah 
<laughs> you walk around there, and I was always, uh, they always laughed at me. Here comes oh, Arnold. I'm ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah, no, awesome. but when you wear the suit, you're like, you know, Clark Kent and Superman. Superman yeah. you, you switch with those two. And so, Never more but, than seven days for a photo shoot. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. But it was actually nice. The, the uh, business world, all the big boys there, um, actually really liked my energy there of being so right. hardcore in fitness and bodybuilding and business. Right, right. Usually you're one, one or the other. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jay Campbell. Quick commercial for the Optimized Tribe with US Navy SEAL Michael Jaco and I every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. There is not a single group online where you will get the highest level intel that Michael and I can provide you from mastering intuition to fully optimizing your hormonal health to improving your fitness, to raising your vibration and increasing your consciousness. There isn't a single group online with two dudes like Michael and myself helping people become the best version of their self. It's literally $99 a month and you get a 90 minute call with me and Michael every single Monday night. Don't wait another second. Sign up now at the link, theoptimizedtribe.com. I appreciate you guys and I send you tremendous love and light. Right, that's absolutely true. And that's still to this day that the truth. Because most of the people that I see that are my peers, like in my business, e-commerce, you know, the stuff that I'm doing now, they're not. They're one foot in the grave, you know. Mm. Six six to ten million in the bank and one foot in the grave. What good is the money? Right. I mean, yeah. it's like give me a break. You can't travel the world, you can't enjoy it, you know. Exactly. It's not worth it. This yeah. is our temple. Yeah. That's it. I mean, it's, you know, one vessel, physical, a physical body with a spirit inha inhabiting it. You might, you might as well make that vessel impermeable. Um, that, man, that's awesome. I'm going to have to Google search you and check out. Are there images of you from like competing your competing days found online or is it all kind of hidden? Uh, I actually have a few. I was actually, um, I might do a, a presentation of that whole journey because I, would, I think uh, it would be amazing. You uh, should. You should. Well, you should. the reason why I should is actually what I'm about to tell you now. Okay. Please don't. Please, please reveal this. All right. So this is huge. So um, I had uh, my last investor. He was about to put in 20 million US um, to get uh, this company going. With uh, We had 50 plus uh, patents. That was just mind blowing. Wow. Um, so I was getting a half percentage of him, uh, what he got, and then I was getting half a percentage from the company. So I was getting uh, one percent yeah. ownership, right, of uh, fifty plus versus fifty-five plus patents that was going to change the world and into a new paradigm. So uh, he said, "You are now a trillionaire on the paper." Uh, the value of the company was just, right. you know. Many zeros. <laughs> right. Um, right. And um, so, yeah, so uh, I went out uh, happy as, uh, you know, a lark and uh, had an extra expensive dinner uh, that night. Uh, right. And um, uh, the, a few days later, um, when we were going to sign with the uh, uh, company, uh, all the papers, uh, my investor got cold feet and he backed out because this was just way over his head of, of feeling comfortable of, uh, uh, you know, he was not into that business at all. So um, at that time, I had also um, pushed myself to my absolute ultimate levels in how I looked. Sure. Right. But I had so much pain. I had not listened to my body saying, you're going over your limits right. for many, many years. I just yeah. through my whole uh, childhood in all sports, through my young years and now early adult years, I just went for it. And, you know, the old saying, no pain, no gain and all of that. And I bought it all. So I just kept on going. But uh, everything just came to a crash. I just felt like, I, I mean, 
when you have so much inflammation in your system and you know everything is hurting your shoulders your knees your hips everything and your spine yeah it was like a wreck. Oh, I, I have to stop you just for one second so literally two nights ago i watched the ronnie coleman documentary all right dude yeah you are literally this is so such a powerful energetic connection that we're sharing right now because you just exactly explained his beingness now he is debilitated he has two, four replaced hips yeah. fused spine i mean he walks like this on yeah what he walks with like wall i mean you know the most impressive physical human being maybe that ever walked the history of this planet yeah destroyed his body he literally destroyed yeah. his body so you have to ask that question and you you've done it too obviously <laughs> is it worth it? anyway continue but uh it's a good analogy for people yeah, so <clears throat> I came to this point where I just felt, I mean, everything is just, I just need to totally change my life. Right. And now from um, being on that path with all the inventors and uh, groundbreaking, you know, new paradigm technologies, I left it all. I left it all. I... Uh, quit everything i just set up you know uh, all my business connections uh, everything i just left it all and then i stopped working out uh, bodybuilding and and over the last year or two i had the best chiropractor you know working on the professional bodybuilders and uh, athletes and uh, uh, the movie industry you know um, and uh, the best masseuse, the same thing. You know, just sure. best of the best team to take care of all my problems. Right, right, right. <laughs> so I spend a lot of money and time on that. And then I go back to the gym, continuing in the old ways. Sure. Right? Sure. So, and there is so many doing this, you know. The whole sports world, every sport you find, yes. you know, young boys and girls just doing the same thing. And then in early you know 30 to 40 they're done yeah and yeah. then they have you know problems with their body for life and maybe they even spend the money they made in their short fame ronnie <laughs> so, coleman takes eight oxycodone a day and he yeah. still says his pain is 11 out of 10. imagine living like that yeah. not worth it no so i came to this point i just decided I want to feel good. Right. To look good is nothing. No. If you don't feel good. Exactly. I don't want to have any pain anymore. And in that car crash, I made a vow to God that I will do everything now to find him. Right. right. <laughs> I was right. sorry, all women out there. Uh, I was talking in that because old programming. Yep. Um, so I uh, made my little studio in Los Angeles to my little ashram. Nice. And I started to study spirituality, healing work, yoga. This guy. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I started to travel up there. And uh, a few months in, and, and, I had short hair and no beard, and I just started my what I call my Jesus years. So I right. just let everything grow out, right. <laughs> and, right. and uh, became totally relaxed from being a business guy. You know, just relaxed, doing yoga, healing work, and just study. And then I had a profound Kundalini awakening one day, and that just I mean, igniting my whole system in a way I didn't uh, thought. I mean, <laughs> nobody knows that that's possible. I mean, <laughs> when it happens, it's just... Your chakras just went ding. Yeah. Everything. So I yeah. had a total connection to God or to the source, to my inner being, myself. I just came home. You know, I just became complete again. And then... I had this amazing cry. I cried like a baby for uh, 
hours, 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 yeah. hours. It came from the bottom of my belly. It was just the most incredible cry of just blend of sadness and love, happiness, um, for finding it. And also all the sadness that I've been carrying on my back, you know, for so long. So it was a huge release. And how old were you when this happened, by the way? How old? Do you remember how 27. old you were? How old? 27. Wow, you were young. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so I started to um, um, get to familiar, familiar with this presence, with this connection, because I didn't have any distractions, you see. I sure. cleared my calendar, and this is key. If you want to find that connection, you need some time in your life where you just do that. That's it, yeah. Right? Yeah. So um, I had this connection for months. I walked yeah. around just doing, you know, light work. Pure helping joy. Old, yeah. Helping old ladies across the road and, uh, you know, just little small things, mm -hmm. just practicing being divine. Um, but most importantly, uh, I got connection and uh, a, a strength and connection with myself my inner being and right. the connection to the source right and with that it just took on a whole other healing level so i started to heal myself and my system my body so fast Beautiful. so i became I mean, incredible, um, flexible, and the joints and everything just started to click and, wow. you know, get aligned. And so I started to understand that what I missed before was to understand the core of us, the alignment, the skeleton. To just go to a chiropractor once in a while, it's not enough. We need to self-adjust every day. Um, so... Yeah, uh, that lasted for a few years. I just spent that time, just connect, 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 and just, yeah, evolve, evolve. Just become more solid in myself, in my spirit self. Um, so, and, and to heal. And then a few years later, I went back to Sweden, and I have a three-year younger brother that uh, was also close to ready. Nice. So uh, I get to guide him through the same journey. So he also got awoken. And then um, uh, I met a girlfriend that was also right there. Same situation right. Uh, right. of readiness. Right place, right time. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, we start to travel the world to find masters around the world uh, who are on this mission to help humanity to evolve and awaken and uh, just to learn amazing, amazing healing things. I, I went around <clears throat> the whole planet uh, finding amazing healers and masters, learning their skills and, and developing my body healing wise, you know, how to, we can strengthen the core of everything and develop ourselves uh, spiritually and body, body wise. So after some time, and this has been my journey from the very beginning, was to understand how we can master our body, master ourselves, master our body. But my level of mastery was just the surface, you know, sure. compared to what I was now introduced to. So um, I am a body mastery practitioner, and that is uh, to understand that we are not our body, right. we're something else <laughs> and when we become our higher self uh, our master self we uh, understand that whatever we put in our mouth this is a very simple way to understand how much we are in our ego and how much we're in our uh, higher self if we put into our mouth something that we want to taste good but after we swallow it it does no nothing good for our system that is the ego putting stuff in sure <laughs> But when we go for purpose, I want my system to get the highest vibrations. You know, we think life force uh, and let the higher self put uh, the food in our systems. Then with that thinking and knowledge and the map you have behind your uh, consciousness, when you're in that higher understanding of uh, power instead of the lower, which is force. So we move from force to power which is love, 
and connection right um, and then we control our body through that we can do amazing anything. things anything amazing yeah i yeah. mean just myself my own journey i so the long story short um i have dwelled into i mean most healing modalities uh, all yoga practices martial arts all sports, chiropractic work. When you take everything down, there is this red thread, this core that I have um, uh, found and developed. So there's 13 movements, yin and yang movements, that keep us in our absolute ultimate state, our ideal state, where we are meant to be. So if you compare it to looking in the animal kingdom, whatever animal you see, they look pretty much the same. Lions oh. look like lions, giraffes look like giraffes, zebras look like zebras, you know, but humankind, no? <laughs> we yeah, don't have that ideal yet. It's just a, a, a minor percentage that are, are working on all levels. Right. And now this is part of the paradigm shift to understand that, our body is our temple, literally. So uh, to go through the consciousness map, it's not enough to just go through it consciously, hair and heart. We need to now do this shift with our body. This ascension right. journey is with our body. So, yeah, um, I could talk about this for a long time because no, this I has mean, been a beautiful. journey for... 20 no, I mean, plus I think, years. No, I, mean, I mean, obviously, I mean, obviously you, you summed it up really well. And I'm, I'm glad that I got to know your full story. I mean, there's obviously a lot of, you share a lot of similarities, you know, a lot of similar things have happened to me in my journey. Mm. Um, you know, recognizing that I was so much more than my body, you know, I, I've shared my story with a number of people, you know, and I'll share it with you just, you know, quickly. Um, you know, when my wife met me, I was already a physical master, right? Like, Ecstatic, ecstatically, I looked absolutely unbelievable. And, you know, I was yeah. ripped and good looking and, you know, I could get any woman physically and all that kind of stuff. But she literally was like, what, you know, you spend all this time and focus and energy looking the way you do, which obviously takes, you know, mastery of the physical body, but what are you doing for your inner game? And I just remember her looking at me like, what are you talking? <laughs> right. And this, this was when I was 41 years old. And then I started to listen to her and, you know, now fast forward to where I am at 50, obviously still a work in progress, but I mean, my inner game is more important now than my, my external game. I mean, I still go to the gym three days a week and I still do cardio and I meditate when I do cardio. Mm. Right. But I mean, what you have to learn again, that the path, the way out is within and when you're in the focus of within, which, as you said, being this, your life is so much more impactful, um, happy, joyous. You, 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 and then, of course, you connect with people in a similar fashion, like you and I connected, like you are doing now, you know, seeking, going around the world, seeking the masters and finding the masters and now connecting with them. I mean, it's beautiful. I mean, I'm obviously doing it myself now, too. You know, actually, just, that, that, that was. Uh... Um, between 2000 to 2010. Wow. And then since then, I've been on my own path uh, teaching. Right, right. Mm. Well, I mean, you're teaching every time you speak, you know, which is absolutely amazing. Um, let's end the show by talking about co-creation. And obviously, you and I are both working, not working, actually in the process of doing uh you know, helping this planet get into the golden age, you know, uh, I, it's funny again, there's no coincidences in the universe. Uh, you know, I was writing last night for my, um, my company a seer, which, you know, makes products for the hair and for the skin, which are truly golden age products. They're peptide based products. And, you know, we have all these different people in the background now that want to get involved. And of course, you know, I'm against it. You know, I'm not looking to make billions of dollars or anything like that. You know, we're looking to help as many people as we can by creating the best products to help. Right. And hair loss is like a huge thing that's affected human beings for who knows how long, because we're so brainwashed and again to the physical aspect of the way we look. Um, 
But, you know, in just talking about the golden age, like everything now that I speak into the universe is about co-creating that. And how can I do that? Um, you know, with not just the products that I'm, you know, involved with, but the people that I connect with, the people that I communicate with. It's all about that aspect of creating the reality, right? Like Neville Goddard is the wish fulfilled. It's imagining exactly how you want this outcome to be there and then living your life consciously through your your words, thoughts, and actions in that capacity. So it's like, if you want the golden age to happen, then you must manifest it so, and you must connect with people who will help you do that. Absolutely. To co-create, um, everybody has their unique way of being able to co-create. So we have to just tap into who we are. And uh, like, again, Joseph Campbell, he called it follow your bliss, right? So that which we makes us most excited and, and feel, you know, goosebump feelings when we think about it, when we do it. That's our, you know, that's that's it. That's what we want to be able to. Uh, and, and also, if you just look at it, the world, whatever area we look into, the way things are is not the way things can, should, or eventually will be. So right. it's up to us to bridge that gap, to be the bridge builders, to help do every area to how it should be, right? right. So when we have that uh, uh, decision, you know, decision comes from um, a Latin world word means cutting off. That means you cut off from whatever you had going for yourself in the back, and now you decide to be part of this to co-create. Right. And when you do that, magic happens sure. because the universe starts to step in and start to put ama amazing coincidences in your path. Right. The phone calls out of the blue. We get connections with people right. who are on the same path. So things start to happen. Now you are co-creating with the universe. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is that we have to come to that point where we're done with our old life and we want to be part of co-creation uh, of the new, right? And then we have to take action on it because that's how the universe works. We need to step up and show you know, our, uh, our sincerity. So next level, that is when you start to connect and you start to um, build this yeah, team or you know, brotherhood, right. <laughs> people that you connect with, I mean, it's so amazing, so amazing. I mean, it's like we're family and we finally meet again. It's yeah. like, where yeah. have you been all these years? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I think we're all as scenes. I, you know, if, you, if you're familiar with like a lot of the work with Dolores Cannon, you know, talking yeah. about the Essenes, I think mm -hmm. that you and I and folks like us are all Essenes or were involved at that t place in time because I've seen, it, it's a long story without getting into it, but like um, four years ago when I was reading, four or five years ago when I was reading deeply about the Essenes, like that was the chakra you know, Kundalini moment for me where it was just like, wow, why am I so attracted to this energy and to this story and to all of this information? It was just so incredible. So I, I have a feeling that a lot of us, you know, it, you know, this, these light bringers from the North were, were in that age and time, you know, incarnated as the scenes, which, you know, were the preparers for Jesus or Yeshua or however you look at him. Mm. Mm. And that is also a misunderstanding that it's not, a guy who's going to show up and you know be it's, <laughs> it's the christ savior, right? conscious it's the christ consciousness in us exactly. that are awakened you mean jesus, wait a minute you mean jesus isn't coming back again bro <laughs> he is he is in you he is in me he is in <laughs> everybody yeah exactly <laughs> and the same with buddha you know if you prefer Krishna, buddha before yeah. of yeah you well, know yeah. if you walk that path it's the buddha consciousness in, inside yes. of us yes. right so, um, yeah, so um, to spin off the co-creation thing a bit further, now it's very crucial that we start to, to connect with those people that we feel um, naturally connected to, right. because that is part of the co-creation. Because 
we can't we can't slay this dragon this old system um fighting by ourselves and again it's actually no fight and it's no slaying of the dragon it's actually how we open our heart and consciousness the gandhi way you know to do this once and for all to overcome the fear of the dragon the fear of the system and to co-create the new world the new system which is love peace harmony and high tech it's it's sci-fi it's yeah. in 10 years we're going to be catapulted about 50 to 100 years into the future right right yeah yeah it's interesting you know around that um there's a lot of people there's a lot of different viewpoints but the the angelic realms are saying 2031 2032 which is when the beginning the true beginning of the golden age is and then you have the dark side the transhumanists the Peter Kurzweil, I mean, the Ray Kurzweil's and Peter Diamandis saying that that's when the man machine merges, right? The singularity. So it's interesting that we have like, you know, the, the people in the divine co-creation aspect of things, you know, the, the people in resonance talking about what you just said. And then you have the other side, you know, saying the man machine merge. So it seems like there are two divergent timelines. And obviously viewpoints along each timeline. And ultimately, maybe we get both, Bjorn. Maybe it really doesn't matter. It still is vibration. If you're in resonance, you're going to get the golden age and connection to folks like us. And obviously many, there are many. Or if you're in victimhood and dissonance and incoherence, yeah. you're going to get the robot cyborgs, you know? Yeah with your spirituality turned off, you know, it seems like it's very, very possible that both outcomes will happen simultaneously, but in different parallel dimensions or realities or universes or however you want to phrase it or experience it. But it's all about vibration. It really, to me, it's my opinion, but it comes down to where do you place your consciousness? Yeah. Well, there's already pockets of light all over the planet. Exactly. The world. And uh, there's going to be a strengthening of these pockets of light. So communities and, um, yeah, just different ways of finding a way to live off the grid, off the system. Right. Um, and then, of course, uh, there is several technologies. Um, you know, th th there's a lot of talk about the med beds. But it's right. also other technologies like Rife. Right. Of course. You know Rife? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, and there are several others that might be able to help us already now. Right. You know. Right. Plus, of course, that we need to detox our system. You know, we need right. to get all that heavy metals and all that poison out of the system. So yeah. we can maybe reverse a lot of people that uh, want to be reversed, that right. regret they have taking yeah. it. You know, that they're waking up to what they do. Yeah. That's the key: yeah. is the people that have taken it. They have to want it. You know, I yeah. see, and, and, and I don't want to end the show on a bad note, but I see the majority of those folks are just so in dissonance and so choosing, again, their path of not waking up that it really doesn't matter to them. Um, I, want to, I want to end the show and your reaction to it. And then, of course, I'll let you uh, promote where people can find you. And it's been an amazing show. Um, so I'm just going to read. It's a statement to you. The most important thing you can do right now is to live your life with purely conscious intent fully engaging in every moment visualize your heart opening and become the highest and best version of yourself in service to all of creation basically just be yourself <laughs> right. we need to shed all that extra stuff that is not us just become you um all right, so let's end this on a high note. And that is that, um, um, again, back to what I just said there. Um, I'm struggling with some of this myself right now because I have family members that uh, against all yeah, my yeah. Of course. knowledge about this uh, went ahead and did it anyway. Of course. Right. And there are so many, 
yeah, there's so many of us who has the same problem, you know, yeah. friends and family who just don't want to listen. They're yeah. not in, they're in, you know, dissonance with the truth and yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, I just want to talk a little bit about the most important thing here, which is a lot of people talk about this in this way. Well, we have free will and they chose, so uh, we can't do anything. Well, I'd just like to, let's just hold on there a little bit. We've been born into a system which has kidnapped us mm -hmm. and programmed us. Mm -hmm. So it's not free will, it's fair. It's programming and fair that made most of humanity now, you know, more than 50% go and do this. They've been manipulated. Yeah. So we need to think about that and be connected to our heart and just feel with them. Because these are our family, our brothers and sisters. Yeah. They've been kidnapped from us. So the little percentage of us who are awoke, and I hear some say we're just below 10%, others talk uh, all the way up to 16%. Yeah, it's, tr it's, ten, it's in that number. I would say it's 12. Yeah. I would say it's 12. Let's, yeah, whatever. What that that is what we're talking about. So it's a minor percentage of the whole humanity. Yeah. Yes. However, again, if you look at the consciousness scale, you know that um, um, Einstein was uh, vibrating at the level of 500, right. uh, which is love. Um, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, and uh, a lot of masters uh, were vibrating at 700. Jesus, Buddha, many other uh, ascendant masters were uh, vibrating at the thousand, which is the top of the scale. Right. And that right. is when you get to choose if you want to come back or if you're going to go to the next level right. <laughs> in right. the next life. So we need to understand that when we're in that lower consciousness, we make all our decisions from that point of view, from that point of being. Exactly. So, so we need to understand that we need to have a lot of patience and understanding with the other part of humanity, which is now in great need of Compassion. our help and support. Yes, man. Yes. Mm. It, you, you have to be compassionate, non-judgmental. Yeah. And again, you know, like Michael and I would always say and still do, you know, it's um, you have to send them love bubbles. You just have to send them energetically mm. love, peace, Con you know, con a, a consciousness of like everything is happening, you know, as Hawkins said, everything is happening exactly as God intends it and everything yep. is perfect as it is. There is no, you, you know, thinking that because some person, you know, is down here vibrating and still chooses to get the, I call love that, that the neurotoxic cocktail, as you called it, um, mm. it's still, it's still their choice and they have yet to get to a point where they understand that it's not, you know, in their best interest, but we can't judge them. It's, it's just an allowance and an acceptance that everybody is doing the best they can at all times. Mm. And also, if you look at the scale judgment, whoa, yeah. you just lowered your vibration. Right. right. Uh, so we right. need to clear ourselves, clear, 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 and stay clean and high in our vibration and, and grounded um and work on that no matter what comes at us you know in the news whatever this year is going to be i mean 2020 was warm up oh yeah 2021 this is the show this is when things are gonna so now we need to really be in our best to yeah. hold the vibration for a lot of people around us right yeah okay so um i have a, a youtube channel you just put it up here and um, uh, I was actually starting this in Sweden, and that's why you see by the end of the name there, it says user slash the Nya Menichan videos. And the Nya Menichan means the new human. Yeah. So I'm working on that shift on all our, like the consciousness scale, all our um, um, upgrades yeah. to our best version of ourselves um, in both consciousness wise and uh, bodily wise, how we uh, need to learn to uh, take our body with us in this ascension journey, take away all the pains, all the stuff that we have in our body that is, you know, feeling 
from uncomfortable to severe pains. Right. We don't need that. We, there is a way. We just need to relearn, take away what we are, do, had been done and start the path to healing and alignment. So it's alignment of spirit, get the chakra system aligned. And then it's alignment of the skeleton, the structure in the system, physical system. And then the uh, balance and symmetry of all the muscles and ligaments, everything around it. So we become symmetrical in our best posture and free flowing. So the energy can free flow. And that is the next level of fitness and health. This has not happened yet. We're only a few right. of us. Even the most skilled yogis still have a lot to learn here, how to become I call it a, a, a self chiropractic practitioner. Nice. So you can both use your um, energy to move right. and real physical muscle core uh, movement. Right. And right. when you blend those two together, you have the ultimate yin and yang. Yeah. yeah. So I have, um, I teach how you can become your own um, uh, body mastery practitioner and uh, get yourself aligned in that way. So Beautiful. I have a, a system there, which is uh, something you can find on my site. I'm actually now living on Malta, where I've uh, been teaching. I was just about to start to teach, and then the lockdown happened here. Oh, man. <laughs> so I've done a, a number of videos. Um, I just kept on going right. anyway. Right. So there is a number of videos. So you can get all that knowledge for free. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, so I work like that, and uh, uh, to uh, just be in the the trust that uh, those who find this uh, work profound, my knowledge and teaching profound, um, give back a little bit yeah. from the heart. You know, there is a few um, uh, options. You can um, uh, pay for the course, whatever you find it to be worth for you. Beautiful. Bjorn Lundberg, you are an amazing man. I really appreciate you coming on today. We had a little bit of technical difficulties because of what was going on in the background of my house, but another profound podcast. Um, I have so much gratitude and love and appreciation for you, obviously, in my heart. So namaste. Thank you so much for coming on here today. So guys and gals who are watching the Jay Campbell podcast, as always, support the amazing people who come on. And please go to Bjorn's soon to come website, which will be bjornlundberg.com. But obviously go to his YouTube channel right now, which is, I don't even want to attempt to pronounce that. Uh, Den, Den Mianaskin videos. Anyway, the <laughs> URL is right there. And obviously I'll put it in the link to the show. So again, support the amazing people. And remember, raise your vibration to optimize your love creation. We will see you guys very soon. I, a last thing, last thing. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had another fantastic talk, which I warmly recommend also take a look at because I'm starting a, a show in Sweden, which is called um, The Light from North, The Hero's Journey. And I'm doing that with spiritual teachers in Scandinavia. And I'm also branching out now doing it with international speakers. And my first speaker was Jay. Thank you. That's amazing. So, that first that first talk is amazing. So and there will be many more coming. So you have another fantastic video to look at that. Thank and you so much, and CJ from another perspective. <laughs> thank and thank you so much for that. And of course, that link that video will also be linked in this video. So again, we appreciate you guys. So we will see all of you guys very soon. <laughs>